I cannot contain my excitement to start this chapter of life with you and to finally be able to call you my wife. Today's the day, babe. We are about to do this, and I am super excited. Let's do this. I love you with all of my heart. Your fiancé for the last time, Zach. Zach, it seems like just yesterday we were pretending to be wrestlers in the backyard and running plays on the football field together at Collinwood High and standing on the baseball field after a big win. But now here I stand in front of friends and family to congratulate you and your new wife on this very special day. I am honored and I am blessed to welcome you, Cassidy, into our family. I'll never forget the very first time Cass told me about Zach. We were in Nan and Papa's kitchen and she pulled up his Facebook. I remember her saying how great he was and that she thought he was super good looking. <laughs> Since that day, many years ago, we've had countless conversations from should I go on this date to Brooke, I just know he's the one. It's all come full, full circle. As you both stand in the presence of God, remember that true love and loyalty alone will avail as the foundation of a happy home. The vows that you're about to make are to be kept in love. And as you do, your heavenly Father will keep your lives full of joy and your home that you're about to establish will abide in peace. No other human ties are more tender. No other vows are more sacred than these you are about to make. Cassidy, I cannot believe this day has finally arrived. You have so many qualities that have made me fall for you more and more every day. But the one that had always stuck out to me is your love for Jesus. Every day you show the love of Jesus not only to me, but to others whenever, whenever they come into contact with you. Your light continues to shine every day no matter what this world throws at you, and I am so thankful for that. The Lord knew what He was doing when He sent you to me. You seen me at my worst when it seemed like there was no hope for me. And you've also seen me at my best when Jesus took control. Even though it all, even through it all, you've stuck by my side and chose to love me just the same. I promise to always be here for you no matter what may happen and to always be your number one support. I promise to always have the patience that love demands no matter the situation. I promise to let you take your naps whenever you need them. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to always take care of you whether you're sick or even just tired from a long day. I promise to love you unconditionally with all my heart and to also remind you of it every single day and every night. 
All these promises that I made to you are not things that I have to do, but things that I get the pleasure of doing for the rest of our lives. Cassidy Brian, you are my person, and I thank God I get to love you for the rest of our lives. Zach, on August 19th, 2015, I made a list of the things that I wanted in my husband. Some of those things were to love God with all of his heart, to have a family that put Jesus first, and to be tall and handsome, of course. God has granted every desire of my heart when I met you. You are everything I've prayed for and so much more. You are incredibly kind. You are selfless and you are the best friend I've ever had. I am so excited to start our journey together today. I promise to always love you and support you and wherever God may lead us. You are my person and I love you with all of my heart. Today, Zach and Cassidy have chosen to braid these, these three strands together into a single cord. The braiding of the three strands demonstrates how they are joined by God in marriage. Ecclesiastes 4 and 12 reads, Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Today, Zach and Cassidy have been woven together by God as one in marriage. You may kiss the bride. Mm. Y'all been practicing. <laughs> turn, turn that face. Get your bouquet. It's my happy privilege to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Zachary Reeves. <laughs> 